obviously there's plenty of things to pay attention to as you get older. Some of them make themselves apparent in mm. sharp ways. Some are nagging and others are hidden. It's that latter category that I'd like to point out to two issues people experience around the age of 60 that they may not be aware of, as well as how to fix them. The first comes down to this graph. You'll see that on the horizontal axis, we have age, and on the vertical axis, we have muscular strength. Now, you'll note that around 40, the lines decline, indicating that muscle strength decreases. Now, muscle strength is one factor, but really I'm more interested in showing you data on muscular power. Muscular power is, in short, how quickly you can access your strength. So you might be really strong, but if it takes you a long time to reach that strength, that force, then you have low power or reduced ability to generate force over time. This is a major problem because one of the major reasons for early death in older individuals is not being able to catch yourself on a misstep like going downstairs, where the access to your musculature needs to be quick enough to catch yourself before falling. If you don't, you have a high risk of hospitalization, worthy injury, trauma, which is strongly linked to early death. So if we focus on the data looking at power, here we're looking at mice of varying ages to do more invasive techniques to assess this effect. The vertical axis is the muscular power and the horizontal axis is the force applied to the muscle. So for example, at 60% of maximum force, how much power was generated? The blue line is young, adult mice. The red is old mice. And the green is very old mice. It's like a stepwise decrease in power across a number of force percentages applied. And this is also seen in humans. So with age, there's reduced power. Fortunately, there's some things that you can actually do to combat that, and we'll get into that in just a bit. First, I'd like to introduce you to the next issue to look out for, aside from a loss of muscular power and the risk that it brings. The second issue is our metabolism. Fascinatingly, our metabolism as defined by the amount of energy that we expend is unaffected for the majority of our lives. We see that evidenced by this wonderful work here. This beautiful graph has thousands of data points from thousands of people, differently colored based on sex, and the further up that they go, the higher the total metabolism. The horizontal axis indicates age. Notice how there's about no difference between age 20 and 60, and then it begins dropping. That's right, around age 60, your metabolism begins to slow. There are many reasons for that, which I'd be happy to get into in more detail in the future, but one layer down, I can tell you that the major reason is due to changes in the amount of muscle mass that people have on their body. To be clear, there are other non-muscle related mechanisms for this decline, which are less easily fixed, but considering a major factor is the sheer amount and quality of muscle on your skeleton, we can fix that. The problem with reductions in metabolism might seem obvious, but to spell it out, it can lead to an insidious increase in body fat, which is highly linked to many diseases from heart disease to cancer. It's reasonable that if we reduce that fat gain, we can reduce our risk of many diseases, which are already elevated by a simple function of other factors that come with increasing age. I mean, think gene mutations, insulin resistance, and so on. Okay, so muscular power decline and overall metabolic decline are major insidious causes of early death. But what to do? Well, allow me to mention that if you want some more specific calculations for your personal circumstance, I'm releasing a more comprehensive detailed plan for the Physionic Insiders where I house all of my work, videos, articles, podcasts, and more. I would love for you to join. The link is in the description box. But assuming that you don't want a more detailed plan, what are some applicable takeaways anyway? Ultimately, we're trying to fulfill two objectives. One, we're trying to gain muscle. And two, we're trying to improve our power output. These two goals are closely related, but not identical. 
they both involve the same intervention, resistance training. But how the resistance training is implemented is actually rather different. For muscle growth, aiming for volume, meaning that the total amount of weight or resistance moved throughout the week. You want to pick a starting point if you're a beginner and you want to make sure that every week you're increasing the volume the total amount of resistance lifted every week by you know a small amount this is a type of progressive overload that allows for greater muscle growth in concert with that you should be using resistances that are sufficiently difficult. So probably not a weight or resistance that you can do for more than 20 repetitions as a really basic benchmark. But your workouts should not be focused solely on building muscle. More specifically, for improvements in power generation, you are actively choosing only percentages or fractions of your full force generation. Say, for example, you can lift a resistance of 100 kilograms. You would want to aim for lifting 50 kilograms only, so 50%. Critically, you want to focus on being explosive in your movements, meaning when pushing or pulling the resistance through the range of motion, you want to move the weight resistance as quickly as possible during the concentric phase, the muscle shortening phase. As an example, in a bench press, pushing the weight up is the concentric phase. So you'd want to push it up as fast as possible. Both of these can be used in the same workout, but since explosiveness is not necessarily used for muscle growth, using a mixture of both can offer the best of both worlds. Assuming that you want to know more about muscle growth and performance, check out this video right here. Otherwise, I can't recommend the plan that I have for the insiders enough, which is even more detailed yet.